Joining us now from London is NBC News correspondent Steve Patterson and Joel Rubin, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State and President of the Washington Strategy Group. Welcome to both of you. Steve, I do want to start with you. We saw the newspaper headlines there in London today. Give me a sense of the mood there in that city and the country. Well, I'm glad you showed him, Candace, because that is the mood in this country. This is sort of front page news plastered all over every paper across the country right now. It has been uh, a bit brutal. You're talking about a country in which public life, you certain uh, you have a certain veneer of austerity of sort of this, this cold, cool leadership. And that is the image that she will leave with. Uh, she's leaving with kind of this aura of disaster, unlike few have experienced, shrouded in this fight over Brexit, this political monster that's now ended the premiership of two prime ministers since that fateful 26 referendum was confirmed. Her legacy largely hinged on getting a Brexit deal done, and she's been seen as almost entirely unable to make a compromise happen between those hardline Brexiteers who want out of Europe, deal or no deal, no matter what, and the EU leadership. Her exit was not only predicted at the end of this, it was almost a foregone conclusion, so much so that before she stepped down, her own party was preparing a vote to change their own rules so they could have another vote of no confidence to get her out of office. I think a lot of people saw this as her in a rock, you know, between a rock and a hard place. So uh, there was some sympathy for her, but uh, I'm not sure that history will be uh, too kind to her time as a prime minister, Kenneth. And so many of those headlines putting her in tears there on the front page. Our thanks to Steve Patterson. Uh, Jill, I want to bring you into this conversation right now because what happens next in terms of uh, selection? Yeah, Candace, in terms of the, the process, she'll be caretaker for a couple of weeks and then they'll have a new election. But uh, as Steve points out, uh, this is a disaster. Brexit is a disaster. Let's be blunt about this. It's not a winnable policy. Britain will suffer. And uh, the rise of right wing politics across Europe, uh, Russia, Italy, Germany, in, in, to a certain extent, Hungary, uh, right wing nationalist and, xenophobic parties are really messing with the politics of these countries. And Joe, why should we care about it? Besides the fact that we look at it and we think, wow, at least there's somebody who's more of a hot mess than our government yeah. right now. <laughs> why should us as Americans care about what's happening there? So there are two ways to look at this. First and foremost, Britain as a, a major power, a major ally in Europe, pulling it out, ripping it out of the heart of the European Union will have significant economic impacts and send political shockwaves across Europe. And that is something that we spent seven decades, or they have spent seven decades nearly, building up in unity after World War II. So that's significant. And part two is what it does to America and a signal it sends across the globe, which is that xenophobia, uh, ethnocentrism, retreating to our corners, that that's the way forward. And it's not. Uh, multilateralism has brought us significant security and economic benefits. But Russia and many countries across the world are pushing hard against that. And President Trump, okay. he supports that position as well. And that's very dangerous. And, and speaking of President Trump, uh, of course, he's set to go to England and to London for a state visit in about a week or so. How awkward will that be? with this prime minister who's still in office and then she leaves two days later. Nice knowing you. That's right. That's Bye. right. It's been awkward many times for him there and, and it will continue to be. Uh, he is not a popular figure in London and uh, he'll be there and who knows, maybe he'll endorse one of the candidates, Boris Johnson, just to throw another grenade into British politics. Yeah, he has endorsed Boris Johnson in the past as well. Um, so maybe he will. Um, our thanks to Steve Patterson out there in London and Joel Rubin. Thank you.